party started early, hours before a scheduled announcement marking the NHL's return to Winnipeg official. Uh, CTV's Caroline Bargut joins us now. Uh, this is a day 15 years in the making. How are hockey fans celebrating, Caroline? Well, Gord, as you mentioned, the party started early, and here at the Forks, they're still celebrating. There are hundreds of people here. They were dancing in the streets. They were playing street hockey games. They even formed a Bronco line. Hundreds of smiling faces celebrating the return of the NHL to Winnipeg. They're dancing in the streets, toasting the NHL's return to Winnipeg. News these hockey fans say puts this city back on the map. I always dreamed that this day would come. 15 years ago when our team was taken away, I was so sad. But now, this day has come. I can't believe it right now. When that puck is dropped in, uh, in October, it's going to be just electric in the city. The celebration started early, hours before the big announcement was made. At the Forks, they rubbed elbows with former Jets players. They played hockey in the streets. Even danced alongside the mayor who led a Congo line through the party. Hockey fans say the city changed when the Jets were taken away more than 15 years ago. Winnipeggers determined to never let that happen again. It was such an empty feeling. You just felt like you lost a loved one. And today you feel like that person's getting resurrected and coming back to life. It feels great. Proud to be a Winnipegger. Back in Manitoba. NHL's coming back finally. Proud to be Canadian, proud to live in Winnipeg. Go Jets, go! People here are standing a little taller now, knowing their dream has become a reality. Their beloved team is finally coming home. Oh, the band is done, but as you can see, there are still tons of people here at the door. And it looks like they're going to be here celebrating for a while. Go Jets, go! Very electric down there. Thank you. CTV's Caroline Bargut reporting tonight.